Did you get an Ender 3 V2? Get it put together and it's not quite working right? Well, today in today's video, I'm gonna tell you what I found when I put my Ender 3 V2 to the test, when I tried my first print and ran into problems. See you inside for the fix. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about the Ender 3 V2. So I got my Ender 3 V2, the videos are down in the link of when I put it together and got it set up, but then I went to print with it and I ran into a problem that really stumped me for a little bit. The printer, the extruder would not spin. I set up a brand new Kira profile, all that stuff for this printer, but it wouldn't extrude. And then when it did extrude, it moved over to one part of the plate and just kept going in a straight line up, not following the model print details. I thought first something was wrong with Kira profile and I did something wrong or my file corrupted. But then I went and looked at the printer and I noticed that I was on firmware 0.0.9. So I went out to the Creality website and figured out, well, maybe I need to try updating my firmware. I'm gonna walk you through how to do that update with the latest firmware available from Creality.com and show you how easy it is to get your firmware updated on this printer. Okay, like I said, we need to update the firmware, so we're gonna go out to creality.com slash download, and we're gonna scroll down and find the Ender 3 V2 3D printer. So, Creality did put a lot of good software on there. So if you lose the software that comes on the SD card that comes with the printer, they actually made a zip file for that information. And depending on what you're doing, like for example, if you're using, wanna put the BL Touch on the printer, they did release firmware updates for that product. We're gonna install the latest firmware because um, I didn't put a BL Touch on my printer. So we need the latest firmware available for that, which is this one. So we're gonna click and download that. Get that downloaded into our downloads folder. And we're gonna pull up downloads and maximize that. And as you can see, it's downloaded it. You'll have to extract it with WinRAR, but once you extract it, you'll get this information. So in this folder is the screen and main board. What you need to do is copy this, this from main board and from screen, copy this folder. Copy both of those over to your SD card so we'll copy and we'll pull this down to the SD card. You can see I already have it. I got a couple models on here too and I copied the other file to this. Now, all we need to do is take this, put it in our printer, reboot the printer and this should update our firmware. Now, if you do have a problem with your screen, all you gotta do is take the screen off and take the screws out of the back and there's an SD port, micro SD card port in the back of your screen. If the screen's not looking right, put the same SD card in that port and reboot your printer again, and that will update your screen. But this should update you to 1.0.2. After I did this firmware upgrade, my printer run started running smooth as can be. So basically, we're gonna go back, we're gonna put the SD card in the printer, and I'll show you guys how to do that update. Okay, so we're back here at the printer. now. My printer's off right now. I do apologize about the noise in the video that's my other printer's running. Um, I've got five others in here all doing jobs at the moment. But this guy is the one that's not doing its work and we need it to get to work. So all you gotta do to update the firmware is take your micro SD card that you copied those two file, those two folders on that I told you, plug it in and power on. If this works correctly, this will take longer to boot than normal. I've already got it installed, so it's probably gonna ignore it, but it'll take a little bit longer to boot, take about 30, 40 seconds longer than it usually does. And if everything goes right, bring the camera over here for this. If everything goes right, you should be able to go to info and it tells you you're on firmware 1.02 from Creality. If that worked, you're done. You've updated your firmware and give it a try to print. Hopefully that will resolve the issue and you're back to printing with your new CR10 V2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks.